robotics team of high schoolers is using their skills to help people suffering from Alzheimer's. St. Charles teens spent months building these boards, helping with muscle memory and stimulation. Jenna Ray has that story. Unless you've gone through it, you don't know. Steve Garner's worked with the Alzheimer's Association for nearly two decades. When his dad was diagnosed with the disease, he and his wife stepped up. We had him for eight years in our home and um, it was just uh, just a dynamic, you know, um, the whole time. It's really heartbreaking because uh, the person that, you know, you used to have isn't there anymore. Since Garner's dad's passing, he's dedicated his time to helping others, caring for family members suffering from memory loss. And so is a group of high school students. Lights, shoelaces, Velcros with straps, wheels that spin. They stimulate the brain of an Alzheimer's patient. This is just one type of busy board made by Sheer Force Robotics, a team of St. Charles County teens. So May's boards are for an earlier uh, onset of Alzheimer's. Uh, it can help the patients with kind of fidgeting and less with remembering uh, their day-to-day -day, uh, tasks that they have to do. For weeks now, the team's taken a break from their normal robot projects and competitions to build these boards. Usually when teams do outreach projects like this, they look towards like the younger generation and like inspiring STEM into them. Um, but the elderly community is uh, a place that is kind of lacking some of that outreach. It's comforting to them. OK, and a stressor of being uncomfortable exasperates the problems that they have and the behaviors that they have in that. So if you can keep them calm and keep them kind of busy and doing things like that, it just helps. I mean, there is no reversal of Alzheimer's disease. A team of science driven teens coming together for a greater mission to be helping these people is pretty incredible. I feel I'd say almost overjoyed at the fact that I can do something to help another group of people in St. Charles County. Jenna Ray, News 4.